here we have a Dell Dimension 3000 designed for Windows XP and an Intel Celeron processor and why is this door open? Sorry about that. So I will have this Turn the Dell. This one is not one with a door. Where is it? Nope. I'm gonna break it. Alright. Oh, at least this one has a suitable resolution. Anyway, for this monitor, just control delete to begin. Of course, it's not going to stay up. Oh, what a... This should be fun. Oh, this one's going to be reformatted. Here's another Dell Dimension 3000. Dell number two. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, damn it. Whoop do you freaking do? Getting kind of sick and tired of this Windows Server crap. As long as this one will let me hack into it like the first one did. Oh, this one doesn't even have color. Look at that. It's all 16 bit. The old icon. Camera will stay up this time. Of course, it won't. Control delete. This looks like it might work. I'll try it. Of course, they cannot make this easy, can they? I froze it. Aren't I a genius? Hmm. Sadly, I might have to reformat this one too. And look, they gave me a fake floppy drive. A Dell PowerEdge SC440 server with an Intel Xeon processor. Only problem is, I can't use my PS2 mouse and keyboard because there is no PS2 ports in the back. Isn't that just dandy? I have to go find a USB keyboard and mouse. It just dawned on me that I have the wireless keyboard and mouse that are for the HP Pavilion computer that just plug into one USB port on the back. So, power this up now. I'm not the server there. The server will probably start up as soon as I switch. I was right. It did. What happened? Oh. Oh. 
What? Is the computer supposed to make this noise? Okay, we have a bit of a hardware issue. Obviously. Yeah. What the frick? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at this one to see what's wrong with it. Let's cut the power. Here's the Dell server again. The error code it was beeping was because it had no RAM in it. So this one, Dell server, which is identical, had two gigabytes of RAM in it. So I took one gigabyte out, put it in here. It was two 512 megabytes, 512 megabyte sticks. So I'll just there we go. Invalid configuration. Oh, damn it. Another Windows Server 2003 computer. Well, I guess it is a server. It's making quite the noise there. This one's got color. Alright, so this is the second computer I've gotten into so far. Okay, so here we are at the desktop. This one runs. Should have a gigabyte of RAM. Yep, one gigabyte of RAM. Okay, here's the second Dell server, just the same as the other one. Heh, <laughs> turn on as soon as I turn on the monitor. Funny. Hmm. I think this is 2007. No, whatever. Just exit setup for now. Start Windows normally. Oh, a normal version of Windows XP. Holy crap. Well, I was not expecting that at all. No password or anything? Is this professional or home edition? I wasn't really paying attention. If it is, I have no idea what that's doing on a server. Okay, what the hell? Why isn't my house working? Oh, there. Well, this is surely interesting. 
got the same virtual floppy drive. Professional. Okay, that's good to know. Windows XP professional. One gigabyte of RAM because I stole the other one gigabyte of RAM to put it in the other server, which is now out in the other room. And yeah, it's the exact same thing. So nothing really to see. Except. Nah, connecting to the servers failed. I don't give a crap. I forgot what I was going to do. No, I'll just shut it down for now. Well, I could have sound on this thing. That'd be pretty cool. There's no way to do that unless I get a sound card from somewhere. Turn off. Yeah, this one might be one of my main PCs now.